experiment 3b searching aim the aim is to develop an 8086 assembly language program for searching a string from the, from an array and verify it in the laboratory using microprocessor kit we assume that the array is stored starting at 3000h the string to be searched is stored at 3010h and the array size is 05h if the string is available in the array then the ff is to be stored at uh, 3020h followed by the relative location of the string on the other hand if the string is not available in the array then 00 is to be stored at 3020h this is the procedure so that everyone knows there are five steps of procedure so i can skip this so this is the data table so here so we are going to search a string from the given array of uh, characters so the array is stored starting at 3000 okay so so from in this case from 3000 to we have taken only five data here okay so from 3000 to 3004 is the array is stored at 3010 at 3010 we store so this is the array okay array elements array elements so what is 3010 so 3010 will store the data to be judged data to be judged okay so now there is an array so the size of the array is 5 from the array we want to church we want to church 1 1 if 1 1 is available in this case 1 1 is already available here so the results will be stored at 30 20 okay as ff ff something like yes because this is a binary machines so we, we can store only ff for some numbers okay so our convention here is that ff means if 3020 results location is ff that means this data that we want to search is available in the array and in the next location so 02 is the location the relative location of the string that means 11 is available here and this 11 is from second position second position from the starting of the array the first position is taken as 00 then 012 okay so in binary so the first number starts from 0 we know that okay so we have taken here so this is the array so from this array we want to search 11 and that 11 I am storing it at 3010 after executions the results is results is FF that means the data to be searched is available and that data is second position yeah so this 0 1 this is 2 so from the starting of the array the data is at the second location the relative location so this is relative location of the string on the other hand so let me take the same array i want to search 7 7 7 7 is it available or not confirm that 7 7 that i want to search is not available in this array because the array is 5 5 4 4 1 1 2 2 and 3 3 so the result is 0 0 0 0 something we can interpret as no no in high level language okay and the relative location also was 0 okay continue further uh, let me explain the program right okay here so this is the program here so very simple as normally is first few lines or initialization lines we already given everything in the aim itself so is uh, lxi sorry move si 3000 that is we initialize si register to starting up the array and 
move di 3010 that is the string to be charged is stored at 3010 and move bp30 so this is the results location so this is the array starting this is the data that we want to search and this is the results locations and the array size we i have taken here as f f means uh, up to up to 16 elements maximum is 16 elements it will search okay so this is the initializations I want to search the data, so the data that I want to search, I am moving to, we are moving to AL register, accumulator, because any operations we want to do, the data should be in accumulator, that is AX register or AL register, okay, so these are the initializations, up to that, what we do, so we do the comparisons, we compare SI, SI means what? The array. We compare the array elements with AL. What is AL here? AL is the data that we want to judge. So this is the heart of the program actually. Compare AL comma SI. That means the data that we want to judge, we move it into accumulator, then we keep on comparing with the array. Okay. So if we know very well that if accumulator is equal to memory then which flag will set so the zero flag will set when accumulator is not equal to memory then zero flag is reset so this we know already okay so jump on zero that means if the zero flag is set that means there is a matching there is a matching so matching so here we use the label avail so avail is here okay what we want to do as per the aim we want to display what we want to display ff we want to display ff followed by the locations okay so ff is moved to al then from al we move to base pointer base pointer is nothing but the results address then we increment the base pointer increment the base pointer then the relative location is pointed by the SI register because the SI register is pointing the array okay so when the matching found the increment will be stopped every time we increment a uh, SI register right so that means when the matching occurs the SI register will be holding the relative address of the uh, uh, data so we are moving SI content to AX so then from AL or AX we move to base pointer actually we want to display only last uh, last two digit or only one byte one byte of relative location that's why so even though so we are moving a SI to AX so we are displaying only AL L is the last two digits of the uh, array. So this is if the data is available. If the data is not available, then we want to do this one. We, as per the aim, we want to display 00. So 00, I move to AL. From AL, I move to base pointer. Then I increment base pointer. Then the same 00, I move to base point. That means 00 and 00 will be there so 00 means no the data is not available okay so at a time at a time only one thing we want to perform only one thing we want to perform either either the data is available or the data is not available so if the data is not available we want to run these four lines when the data is available we want to run these segment of line we should not run both so that's why if the data is not available we want to we want to jump to over that means we want to end the program so this is the way so we the program works very simple so initialization blocks this is the comparison block 
if the data is not available as per the aim we want to display 00, zero so this is the block if the data is available then we want to display ff so these are the segment of the program to do that and at a time we want to do either one only so that's why we jump over to the last okay so this is the program let's verify the program in uh, the emulator 8086 emulator open the emulator uh, this is the program just now we discussed copy and paste the program into the emulator edit window here we have to make changes as per we discussed uh, for the last few uh, videos delete int change return to halt put the labels appropriately this is how I this is over this is again if you want you can rearrange to make the appearance nicer so this is the complete view of the program now we can click emulate in the emulate window view memory in the memory window we should edit the RAM address to 3000 as per our aim update so let's give some data let's say 1122 three three four four five five six six you can give any data okay which data we want to search from here let's say we want to search five 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 is available run the program yeah so now we can see that at 3020 we got f that is the data is available and the relative location is zero four that is the fourth location fourth location now let's change the data to be charged as one two if i run the program with church data to be charged as one two one two is not available in the array so it should be it should be zero zero yeah exactly so 00 implies the data 11 sorry 12 is not available in the given array let's let's uh, perform the hardware part let's enter the program Okay, now let's substitute the data. Substitute the data at 3000. Let's say 1122334455667788899. We can substitute up to oh, 16 data because RSI is 16. So at, now we want to search 55. Okay. So now go 
run the program now let's verify the results result is at 30 20 so yes so is ff means yes the data is available and the relative location is 0 4 relative location is 0 4 in conclusion so in this lab activity an 8086 assembly language program for searching a string from an array has been developed and the same is verified in the laboratory using the given microprocessor kit and we also verified it using the 8086 emulator thank you for watching